mirror, mirror on the wall. Who would I like to be this fall? Today I'm filming a Snow White vampire look and I'm doing this collab with Gabby Don't Need Makeup to Cover Up, Kate the Fashion Chain and Jane Dorky Fitting Quirky Stuff and Jane doesn't have a YouTube, well she does but she doesn't really make YouTube videos but I'll leave it down below anyway and I'll leave all those links down below and what we're doing is we're transforming Disney characters into like vampires and zombies which is why I'm doing a vampire Snow White and yeah this is my first Halloween tutorial I'm going to do doing a few other similar to this and the look for this is just like as if she's like kind of bleeding out blood and yeah as if she's like bitten into blood and now it's bleeding out of her it's bleeding out of her eyes or she's been bitten as well so the look here is like it's dried in blood but she's also could have been bitten but like it's kind of spilling out of her mouth so yeah um, this really took um a long time for me to film and stuff so i really hope you enjoy it and tell me below what other tutorials i'd like to see and don't of course and don't forget of course to check out um, the girls that i'm doing the cloud with channel which will be linked down below so yeah i really hope you enjoy this i'm going to go all over my eyelids with some dark grey eyeshadow to ju to just give my eyes a very cold dark look I'm going to use a pale peach blush and I'm going to go all under my eyes and up my crease using it to, to create a swollen effect. actual eye and lash line and the actual eyelid as well. I'm going to use a deeper blush colour and I'm just going to go near to my lash line and to my crease. To finish off the, the, my eyes, I'm just going to apply a thin line of liquid eyeliner and some mascara. That's the eyes done. Before we start with the bloody part, uh, we're just going to do our lips. And for lips, I am using a red lipstick, a berry lipstick, and black um, eye pencil to use an ombre effect. But first, I'm just using red lipstick and I'm, we're going to create a deep red lip. Be honest when you're making like a vampire it doesn't really matter if you go over your lip line as long as you don't look like a clown like I do right now it's it's fine like it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to clean that up a bit then I'm going to use a berry lipstick and I'm just going to go over that to give it a more intense look and I'm just going to blend that in as well Try and concentrate the deepest berry and um, lips, like the deepest berry colour on the like outer corners. Don't like have the deepest in the middle because we're like, it, like it's going to get darker as you go out. Any mistakes we can clean up at the end, but now I'm just going to use this black eye pencil at the sides to give a more deep and um, look, vampire look. And then we're just going to blend it in. Now we're going to do the bloody part and I'm using fake blood for this for this bit. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this um, fake blood. Give it a more natural looking blood effect. I'm first of all just going to get a peachy blush again and I'm just going to put it around here like this and I just want 
should like create like shadows of it. And then I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow and I'm going to put it over the blood to make it look more dark and more natural. I'm trying to create like the, as if the, the, the blood has been smudged and it's been there for a long time. So I'm just going to keep going like with that. And now I'm going to make it look like someone has now been into that blood and made it a bit more a bit more scabby than the scab like a scab um, has been left there and it's and it's been bruising so I'm just going to use some dark brown and I'm going to continue going down it I'm, and then I'm using the eye blush again and I'm just going and I'm using the deep blush again and I'm just going to go around it to create to create a swollen look. Adding a, t adding a little blood blooded tear from the, from the from my right from my right eye, which is to your left. And once again, to make the blood look more real, to look more realistic, I'm going to use dark brown eyeshadow to to go over it. Now I'm using this peach blush once again just to create the swollenness around it. And the deep one in the middle. I'm going to use the eye pencil that we used a few minutes ago on our lips and I'm just going to put that down our lips to to join in with the with the blood to to make it more obvious that blood is running from the mouth as well as a wound be um, healing from someone biting it too, <laughs> which is really pleasant. You can blend this in if you like to, but you don't really need to. Blood will not just stop running here, so I'm going to continue running the blood very thinly now until, until the end of my chin and a bit downwards. And we're also going to continue blend, blending the brown in and making it very natural and just looking like it's dried in blood. As the blood runs further down your chin, begin to blend it in so it looks like it's beginning to smudge in now and it's not prominent. I also want to start creating bruising effects and you can use some grey eye pen, a grey eyeshadow for this. Remember to keep on adding your blush to around the scars, to, to, to around the wound and dried in blood to, to give a swollen and irritated effect. Finally, I'm going to create an effect that my eyes um, have been bleeding out the side. So we're just going to take some blood yet again and we're going to start winging it out to the side as if you were applying eyeliner. And you can keep going down, you can go up, you can do any way you like. As per usual, we will be putting the the dark brown eyeshadow over it to give a more a, a more real life effect. With the brown eyeshadow, keep on putting it down. Put keep on but keep on applying it downwards so it looks more dried in and just gradually fade it out. Create, create the swollen and the irritated effect. Yeah. Use the blusher and we're going to use the peach for the most outwards bit and then for the more inner bits close, closer to the blood we are using the, the, the deep peach.
to blend the blood into the eyes, we don't want the blood going directly near the eye or an eye contact. I'm going to use the black eye pencil again just to blend it out from the eyelids too. I'm applying grey eyeshadow to my cheekbone to create a more colder look to my face. 